Hey everyone, I'm back ready to hit up Rocket League. Let's see how this looks. We're going to continue with training that we were working on earlier today. Um, next I had on the list was to keep at least 36 boost when the other people have the ball. I'm not going to probably be able to practice that right here. Aquadome. Checking different arenas that we have. I just realized. You, oh, here we go. Tokyo Underpass. Hey, this is the one I was looking for, really. So this one, you can drive up and then bounce off the wall. And it has all kinds of... So I wonder if I did a ball cam. Yeah, you have to get an angle, a specific angle on the ball. Bounce off the wall. This is a good one for ball ball ball. I'm checking to see. All right. Huh. All kinds of cool uh, physics we can use with this map. Follow up hard hits with, so if you do a hard hit where you hit it, you gotta jump and go get it. This is like a ball chasing type of thing where you just punt it into the wall. <laughs> and then you go after it. Constant ball chasing, I see. Like that. There we go. Like I boosted myself a little bit too much because the ball is not boosted so you shouldn't use boost while you're hitting the ball if you want to stay even with the ball. Good for following up. Okay, I'm going to pass on. So keep at least 36 boost when they have the ball just so you can defend. Shadow them when they're dribbling, especially 1v1. So if they were coming towards me and say, say the ball was the other team and this was my goal, then I should shadow them. That means try to copy their movement like this and just keep keep them behind me like this so I'm actually facing the opposite direction like this and then just shadow them. And then if I have to boost or block, I can jump and react that way. So that's a strategy, shadowing them. Um, maybe I'll practice when I do 1v1 or something like that. Um, kamikaze them while in air dribbling for easy goal. Okay, so if I had, if I was air dribbling towards the goal and I saw a defender, I can let go of the ball and let the ball fly in the goal and drop off and hit boost and come straight towards the other team and then demo them, demolish them, and let the ball continue on. Um, that's like a sure way to score. Um, if you're air dribbling 
so that's a strategy. So when I get better at air dribbling, I'll probably start up that, try that, see how that works. That, that's good to do in games, but you know, it's good. It's good in practice too, if I can get that. Um, match car speed exactly with the ball speed. Look at the spin, hold, jump, from the enemy while hitting the ball. Okay, so if they're on one side, then you go to the other um, to find the exact spot. But it's, I'm gonna pretend there's, I'm just practicing here. So I'm gonna go boost, flip, boost, and then try to keep 17. So hard to practice here, but in the actual game, I could do that one. So that will, that will be a, a game one to practice. On kickoffs, boost, flip, stop, boost, target, seven, 12 to 17 power, flip away from the enemy while kicking the ball. So if the enemy's on the left, then I want to flip in the opposite direction. Like like if he's on the left, then I'll go that way. If he's on the other way, then I'll go that way. And I want to do like a diagonal one, not a to the left. That's to the left. And a forward one, that's not quite. So I want to diagonal is the best one. It's kind of tricky with a keyboard to get the exact angle, but... Um, I'm, I think I've got the diagonal figured out. I've practiced that one enough. Um, mutators that are good to practice. Slow-mo with unlimited boost. No boost. Super light ball, unlimited boost. Super fast ball and super speed. Or super fast ball speed. Super uh, SL ball. BB super high. UL boost BS 1.5 X and then there's ball MS slow BB low unlimited boost low gravity in Tokyo keep the nose under the ball so maybe I want to try that 